Since I cannot, dear sister, with you hold communion, I'll give you a sketch of our life in the Union. But how to begin? I don't know, I declare. Let me see. Well, the first is our grand bill of fare. We've skilly for breakfast. At night, bread and cheese. And we eat it and then go to bed, if you please. Two days in the week, we have puddings for dinner. And two, we have broth. So like water, but thinner. Two, meat and potatoes. Of this, none to spare. One day, bread and cheese. And this is our fare. And now then, my clothes I will try to portray. They're made of coarse cloth, and the colour is grey. My jacket and waistcoat don't fit me at all. My shirt is too short, or I am too tall. My shoes are not pairs, but of course I have to. They're down at heel, my stockings are blue. A sort of scotch bonnet we wear on our heads. And I sleep in a room where there are 14 beds. Some are sleeping, some are snoring, some talking, some playing, some fighting, some swearing, but very few pray. I sometimes look up at the bit of blue sky, high over my head with a tear in my eye, surrounded by walls that are too high to climb. Confined like a felon without any crime. Not a field, nor a house, nor a hedge I can see. Not a plant, not a flower, nor a bush, nor a tree. But I'm getting, I find, too pathetic by half. And my object was only to cause you to laugh. So my love to yourself, your husband, your daughter, I'll drink to your health with a tin of cold water. Yeah.